Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Um, kind of a sloppy day today. Um, you know, again, when, when you're going to chart tonight, you're going to uh, have two trains of thought, okay? You're either going to be in the camp of, well, the market had a really, really good run, and today was a very, very good organic rest day, and you're going to be right, okay? Um, the second camp is going to have a thought of, well, the market had a really, really good run, and they couldn't capitalize of what today was setting up of day two. If you guys remember, you know, yesterday we had an incredibly aggressive day. Um, and the camp is, well, the market couldn't take advantage of day two of a potentially really, really big run. And both sides are absolutely right. And when you're going to do um, your chart work tonight, and, and, and I, again, I really, really encourage, especially for your new traders, everybody should be doing uh, minimum of a half hour to 45 minutes to an hour a day of chart work. Again, especially if you're newer traders, even if, again, you don't even know what you're looking at or, or can read a chart, it's all muscle memory, okay? The more times you, uh, you, you look at charts, the, more, the faster things are going to click. So I, I really encourage that. But for all you guys who have been trading for a very, very long time, you'll notice two things. Number one, uh, it's not that what the market did today was the issue, okay? Uh, the NASDAQ composite down 80 points, not a big deal. Again, you're not going to see anything uh, that's going to speak to you in the charts. Because again, even though the market was down today, or at least the Qs were down today, when the Dow as well. But it, it didn't even take out the previous day's low. So the, again, on the surface, there's nothing wrong. Uh, so it's not what the market did today that's the issue. It's what the market failed to do. And that was kind of really put the grasp on uh, the bear's throat, kind of, you know, to strangle hold and really take the markets higher. So if you look at yesterday's setup, and, and I was very, very bullish uh, going into today's trading day, um, Amazon, right? Loved Amazon today for a, ta a day two run. Uh, Amazon looked great. Facebook looked great. Apple looked great. Um, um, Alibaba, it was, Zoom looked great. Everything looked great. And the bulls had a really, really aggressive uh, day yesterday and had a chance for day two today and they just couldn't do it and the the curious part about that was that you started seeing really aggressive call buying especially uh, in names like Amazon again I still think Amazon uh, is fine but you had really aggressive call buying today uh, in stock like Facebook. Facebook was really aggressive. Um, you started seeing short-term uh, 275 calls, 270 calls. You saw September 300 calls. Again, 300 calls for September is kind of a lot. Um, again, there's a lot of speculation why people are, uh, are, are buying uh, 300 calls for September, but you had so much um, on the line today, as far as good speculation money flow, Apple today uh, broke out at a 52-week high, or at least a continuation of the 52-week high. So things looked really, really good. And slowly but surely, you started seeing uh, the market really pause, like really, really started halting. Uh, volume started to condense. Uh, ranges started to contract. Everybody's waiting for the Fed. Again, does it really make a difference what the Fed said? Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. So again, it wasn't to the point of any materialistic news uh, that came out from the Fed. There wasn't any materialistic news that came from the macro world. Again, uh, NVIDIA came out with earnings after the close. They're down. But it, again, does it really make a difference that NVIDIA is down? NVIDIA has been probably one of the biggest movers uh, in the last year or so. So again, the fact that it's down after the close, or you again, quote unquote, you could call it down. Uh, again, it really doesn't really speak anything. So the problem with tomorrow's session is you're going to see a lot of names that are very, very condensed. Okay. Uh, not going up, not going down. You know, I, I saw some names, uh, you know, that I do like to the downside for tomorrow. You know, maybe a Boeing, right? Boeing just really just can't get out of its own way. Uh, maybe a Qualcomm if it confirms, right? You know, maybe, you know, maybe a Qualcomm if it confirms. Uh, maybe an AMD. 
uh, if it confirms, right? You can see it, maybe AMD if it confirms. But again, that's about it, right? There's a few names, mid-cap names that I'm looking to the upside, but there's really not something that you can turn around in, in tonight's uh, research. So you're gonna turn around and say, wow, I'm expecting a monster day. Number one, nobody should be expecting anything. I, again, I've, I've said the biggest obstacle you have, especially as a new trader, is raw emotion. So we talk about, you know, really disconnecting from the anticipation day. And disconnect is very, very important because again, if you have any type of expectations for the next trading day, your emotional level is already sky high. So when you come in with no expectations, I've said this for years and years and years, you have no disappointments. Uh, I think tomorrow's session, and again, um, you know, it, it's, it's a very, very, you know, it's gonna be a very, very disciplined t tier, uh, uh, day. When you're going into tomorrow's session, you have to almost kind of let it play out, okay? There's not enough uh, fear for the market to really come in because again, we're way above our ranges. Uh, coming off 52 all-time highs, and there's definitely not enough juice to the upside that something's going to turn around and say, wow, this is going to be a huge measure of potential move. There is no Amazon on deck right now. There is no shop on deck. There is no Facebook on deck. Facebook looked great today for three quarters of the day, and then it finally, uh, it finally came back in. And, and, and ironically, Facebook is actually um, the reason I actually you know, got, got on the right side of the ledger. I had a very, very sloppy day today, incredibly sloppy day. You know, it's one of those days... Um, you know, one of those days that just my, I had a mental fart. Um, I had a winning trade on Tesla turning into losing trade. Uh, then I read Amazon, right? You know, I only lost a couple of bucks on that. And then I kind of started trading um, Kodak, for God's sake, of all things, uh, on an option sweep. Uh, so I started the day really ridiculous. Uh, and then finally, you know, my head got back together. Uh, Pinterest was really, really good. And Facebook got me green on the day, but boy, oh boy, just a very, very sloppy sh session. And from after lunch to uh, from after lunch to kind of the whole day, you just sat there and you just watched these really, really strong stocks that we were watching for tomorrow and the continuation for a possible tomorrow, uh, like a Facebook, like an Apple. They just completely lost, you know, lost it. Just really, really lost. It. If you look at uh, the 60 minute, right? So here's the breakout that really saved my day on Facebook with all the call buying. And then for the next like three, four hours, she did absolutely nothing. Same thing with Apple, right? Apple had a really, really strong day. And again, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. Um, and it really, you know, had a big, big move and then eh, turn around. Again, you saw big uh, option flow, 490 calls, 500 calls, and uh, really died out. So, you know, it, you know I, I think the prudent thing to do, and this is where uh, when you're a professional trader, um, this is kind of the difference between uh, being a brand new trader for the first three to five years or being a seasoned trader. You know, you can accept what's going to about to happen tomorrow. Okay, you're you you know you're going into it saying to yourself, "Look, I have two choices. I can either completely neglect uh, the warning signs what I see in the charts or a lack of charts, right? The lack of value. Okay, and trade like there's nothing wrong. The blinders on." Uh, you know, you're, 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 you have your eyes closed, okay, uh, and probably churn yourself into oblivion tomorrow, okay, uh, or you could turn around and say, look, I see what's going on, I understand what's going on, uh, again, I don't want to use the word distribution because that's not it. Again, if you look at the NASDAQ 100, you look at it and say, look, there's nothing wrong, right? There's nothing wrong. When it'll get wrong is losing the five-day moving average around the 274 and a half level on the Qs. Until that happens, nothing is really wrong. The, the key is going into tomorrow, you have two choices. Either you be a complete mule, right? Uh, completely omit the signs that we're seeing in front of us. And again, I encourage everybody to look at a lot of charts tonight. You'll quickly see what I'm talking about. Uh, or do the right feasible adult-like thing is to go into uh, tomorrow's session. You have your preparation. I do have some names that I do like uh, more on the short side than on the long side. But again, I, I could be pleasantly surprised. And the, the whole thing of tomorrow is I want to see one side take control of the tape. I, I really do. I'm in no rush tomorrow. Again, we, we always talk about value. Uh, that's the discipline, okay? You don't need to trade every day. Uh, you sure as hell don't need to trade aggressively every day when you have a lot of warning sides and everything is telling you that it could be a very ugly distribution slash quote unquote uh, chop day. That is your sign, right? That is your sign to tear down share size, 
tear down activity levels and kind of let things play out, okay? Uh, always think of the long game, okay? Don't think of the short game. We, we try to anticipate and kind of win our intervals day to day, but when you are walking into a dark alley, okay, expect that you're probably going to get hurt. So tomorrow's the dark alley, okay? Whether you bring, bring a flashlight, um, some matches, whatever it is, you, you have to see through what's going on and again, I promise you, this is a, this isn't a cryptic message. Tomorrow, you will run into a lot of chop, a lot of dead zones, lack of value. If we surprisingly uh, get some good value on one or two things, that'd be fantastic. Three, four things, I'd be uh, head over heels. But again, uh, expect expect nothing. Okay, expect nothing. Let the market play out. We again, we don't trade because the market's open. We trade because there's value. So again. Be an adult. Be smart. So uh, let's talk about today's uh, pivots very, very quickly. This was, I thought, could have been a really big trade. Okay, so 1856, if it builds below, can flush. So I short this thing on a second entry, and, and this is what I was looking at, right? This is what I was looking at. So here is, you see these two candles right here? Right, you see these two candles? So I get short below these two candles on a second entry, Tesla goes down like five points. What I thought was going to happen was, I thought Tesla was going to break down these levels, test 1835, break 1835, and go right down here into the 1790s. Instead, it didn't do that. Okay, and it didn't do that. And I wound up, um, I wound up, uh, I was up four or five points. I took some off. I always take off cash flow right away. And then the rest, net net, basically, I lost about seven dollars. Was it the worst trade in the world? It wasn't the worst trade in the world, but it really does show how strong this Tesla is. And, and I've always made, um, and I've always made that distinction of, look, you, you can't be a, you know, you can't be a stubborn mule. When a stock is this strong, it's either going to work pretty quickly or get the hell out of the way. So. Um, you know, the stock starts going down, right? It goes down and then really, really aggressive reversal. So I wound up losing about seven bucks in the trade. Was it the worst trade in the world? It wasn't the worst trade in the world. But again, that kind of really started, you know, getting my day, um, you know, kind of in the wrong, in the, in the wrong, uh, in the wrong path. Uh, and then I bought Amazon, right? Uh, red to green on watch. Note this isn't a pivot, just momentum. 334 obviously is the is the 52 week high. So I get long Amazon, okay? And I, I wanted to make sure right away. Again, red to green is not a pivot, okay? So it needed levels uh, to definitely get above. So Amazon goes up about five six points and it stalls out, okay? And once it goes red, I sell Amazon. Lost about a couple of bucks in the trade. Believe me, that was. That was, it, it was more annoying than anything else. Two bucks on Amazon is irrelevant. But now I'm like, all right, I lost money on Tesla. I lost money on Amazon. So what do I do next? And this is when you know, this is when, again, I, I've always say this, unless you're a robot, unless you're a machine, R2D2, C3PO, any, any, any robot, right? You're going to have mental farts. So what do I do? I, I, of all things, just listen to this, of all things, I get long Kodak, right? Kodak on the nine and $10 calls. Yada, 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 I wound up losing 30 cents. Okay, so my day sucks. I say to myself, wow, what the hell am I doing today? I'm having incredible mental fart. And then little by little, thank God, at least we had some good opportunities and things played out. So uh, Boeing, uh, obviously never confirmed. Roku, never confirmed. Uh, ZM, again, not a big move. I, 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 I thought ZM could be like a, you know, could be some, some flow. Uh, it took out 278, went to like 279 and a half, obviously reversed. Here's where I'm annoyed, okay? Like, here's where I'm really, really annoyed. So Groupon, I, I really like the setup coming into today. 29.30 needs to build, right? So, so it takes out 29.30, and I'm watching, and I go, man, there is no volume in this thing. There's literally no volume. 100 share lots, 200 share lots, no volume whatsoever, yada, yada, yada. This thing runs up. Uh, it runs up to uh, 30.59. So it runs up like a dollar and a half on no volume. I don't take the trade again because I'm saying to myself, well, if there's no volume in anything else, why is this thing going to go? It obviously goes again. So that sucks. But again, there were a couple of things that, that did pretty well here. Uh, net never, you know, never confirmed. Uh, I, caught, I, I caught Facebook. Uh, Facebook was strong. Um, you know, this definitely, this is definitely one of the ones that saved me. So we got long through this 266 macro. Stock really exploded. And again, and then it turned around. Again, this is why we always take money on the way up. Use break even as you stop and kind of re, uh, reassess. So I caught some Facebook. 
Uh, Netflix never got up there. Square never got up there. I missed Google. Somehow I missed Google. So uh, 1558 needs to build on Google. I, I missed it, man. I again, I don't know. I think my head was completely my ass today. Um, so here's the 1558. And it goes up 11 and then it obviously, re, you know, turns around, goes lower. But the point is it went. Where the hell was I? Uh, shop uh, shop uh, went to like 1035. Uh, Apple was big, right? Uh, Apple 264.40 needs to build. Uh, again, pretty basic, uh, pretty basic chart. You know, here's this 264.40. Uh, went to 268. Good job for all you guys who caught that as well. Uh, Alibaba reports tomorrow never got there. Uh, it wants highs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Boeing, again, never got close. Uh, Pinterest also saved my day. We actually got long on the 37 break and it, it confirmed 3740 and really exploded. So between Pinterest and Facebook, it really saved my day. You can see here, you can see here in the middle of the day, here, right? You see this 37 level? So we got long on the 37. It confirmed the 3740 and exploded right to the next supply zone, 38 and change. So it actually uh, turned out to be a pretty good trade, but overall very sloppy. I, I just didn't like the action today. My head was in my ass. Trading Kodak? 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 What the hell does Kodak even do anymore? Who the hell even uses Kodak? What are they, biotech? They haven't figured out what they are. Bitcoin, biotech. They still make cameras? What the hell does Kodak even do these days? So yeah, so my head was, it was definitely in my ass. Uh, for most of the day, thank God we got some opportunities to kind of uh, to kind of make men's. But again, very very sloppy session. So going into tomorrow's session again, you got to be an adult. I expect nothing for tomorrow. Uh, we want to look at value, obviously, for uh, any clues of macro reclaims of charts or potential breakdowns. Obviously, semis. I am watching tomorrow if NVIDIA has any weakness. Obviously, if NVIDIA shakes off the weakness and semis start turning around, then maybe the whole group starts turning with it. So again, you have two choices tomorrow. Either trade like nothing is going on or be responsible and wait for your spots. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. Again, always think of the long game. And with God's willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.